Well, for more on this story, we can bring in our correspondent, Gronia Harrington, who's following this ballot and the fallout from it. She joins us now from the capital, Kampala. Gronia, it's now a few hours since that announcement was made. What reaction have we had in so far? So, so far, what we've had from uh, several opposition areas is that the initial reaction to the results was fairly muted. This, after 35 years in power, President Museveni, and now entering his sixth term, was not a big surprise to anybody. Uh, the Electoral Commission started announcing initial results. Uh, last night, and um, Seveny has been in the lead since the beginning. And um, now, uh, heading into town, just from where I am, there are hundreds and hundreds of motorcycle taxi drivers wearing yellow NRM, so ruling party shirts, for a celebratory procession through Kampala. Uh, it all looks very organized. Everybody has their uniforms and flags, some of them accompanied by a truck playing President Museveni's campaign song, uh, and there has been some military deployment following them also. And we can see a little bit more deployment coming out across town now. There were um, foot patrols earlier, but now we're seeing a few more military and police vehicles heading out across the city. So I think that the, if the reaction to those uh, celebrations from opposition supporters might be something to watch out for. Now, Gronia, the main opposition challenger in this presidential race is meanwhile calling the whole ballot a sham, with reports also surfacing that the army has surrounded his home. What more can you tell us about the whereabouts of Bobby Wine? So as far as we know, he's still at his home. There's been a heavy deployment there um, for some time, and apparently it got even uh, larger this morning. Several reporters tried to enter and were turned away. Bobby Wine himself tried to come out in order to make a statement and wasn't allowed out. So we've had no reaction from him yet. Um, and in a campaign that's been marked by huge intimidation of the opposition, mass arrests of opposition activists, shooting, beating, intimidation of journalists um, and a complete internet blackout since Wednesday. It's been very hard to get a clear picture of how the actual election has been run. Um, but in every presidential election since 1996, the opposition has disputed the results. Um, so it's uh, highly likely that they will do the same this time. It just depends on how Bobby Wine can get that message out. He told reporters yesterday that his phone lines had been cut and that he had no way of communicating. So we'll see if he manages to communicate some kind of message to his supporters later on. OK, Gronia Harrington in Uganda. Thank you very much.